He just called my representative a fucking nigger. No, I got him. On, I got his company on the phone. They're looking up his license plate. He already covered it up. It's too late. You ain't trying to cover it. I already got it. It's too late. I already got it. It's too late. I already got it. It's too late. Stretching 
our executive council will be able to call the us and then lower them. So police is here now. Um, hopefully everything should be all right. Yeah. 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 No, I figured it's not no, no. I didn't I didn't think so. I just want you guys to know so that it's how we should be for Yeah. No problem. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank Ziggurat 8th for this video. Thank you so much for sending this. Ladies and gentlemen, this very entitled man, in my opinion, is a Karen. Now, some of y'all will say Brad and Kevin and all that stuff. Uh-uh. This is Karen. I don't care if it is a man. He's Karen. And he spit on that door. And we are in the time of coronavirus, and he is trying to spread his germs out here with no mask on, some little short midget man with a fat gut screaming and hollering. And if you notice, when he went over to the truck, the truck had a business name, a website, and a clear phone number that you could see. You know how easy it would be to find out who he is? In fact, when they drive business vehicles, it's they're probably the easiest ones to find out who they are. You know, and I'm glad the guy on the phone was thinking on his feet and got the license plate number. And that was also visible enough for you to see from that Verizon window. So this guy is a fool, but we know they're all fools. But believe me, men like this, they don't turn it off even when they go home. When I was growing up on my street, there was a couple that used to go into these out of control arguments. And the man act just like this, y'all, exactly like this. He would be all in the yard carrying on and screaming. And, you know, the kids would be all upset. His wife would be all upset. Eventually that woman got sick of that mess and she packed the hell up and left with them kids but he was just like this at home. They don't turn this off. They don't turn this off. Trust me on this, they don't. So let's get into this story, ladies and gentlemen. So this happened in Virginia. This is Raw Story, July 21st, 2020. Man screams the N-word at Black Verizon employee while pounding on store windows. So it was a glass door, but this man was just acting crazy. A man was caught on camera this week going off on a racist tirade against a Black Verizon store employee in which he yelled the N-word and pounded on the store windows. The video of the man, which was posted by Virginia resident Parcel Wright on Facebook, begins with the man spitting on the window of the store and yelling unintelligibly. He then paced for a few minutes before running back up to the window and yelling Parcel that he was an effing N-word. And you could clearly hear him say it. After this, he took what appeared to be a cell phone box and used it to repeatedly pound on the store windows. He then walked back to his truck for about a minute and you could see he was trying to cover up the tag. You know, not too bright. If you were gonna do all of this, you should have covered it up before you approached the store, but not bright at all. He then walked back to the truck for about a minute before again returning to kick at the doors. And, you know, of course, the doors were locked. It was a good thing they were because this dude, you could see him coming in there and trying to destroy the store. Shortly after this, a police officer arrived and you saw the sheriff's uh, office vehicle that was back there and he was talking to the sheriff still very animated flailing his arms around and still screaming 
Okay. Writing on Facebook, Wright claimed the man stormed into the Verizon store, began throwing phones around. I knew he had to be doing something. So he did go in there acting the fool. So he threw the phones around before leaving the store, claiming he had something else for us in his truck. So at this point, you know, they were smart enough to immediately lock the door and call the police and began video recording this man's meltdown. Wright also claimed that the man was subsequently charged by officers for disorderly conduct. Actually, he should have been charged for more than that. You know, COVID is going on and he spit on a door. And we know the air particles go flailing up in the air when you're talking without a mask on. So this man did more than disorderly conduct. He should get more charges on him, period. So ladies and gentlemen, once again, we are seeing this entitlement attitude from the same Karens that we see all the time in this country. And this is historic, 500 years of this carrying on when that's not going to get your phone repaired any sooner. And trust me, I got a Verizon phone, ladies and gentlemen. And I had to exchange a phone because I had one that stopped working. They do it all the time. And I didn't go up to the store. They just overnighted another phone to me. It was not the end of the world. And Verizon will do that. You can exchange your phone and sometimes they'll, they'll work something out with you where he could have walked out of that store with another phone or even getting one sent to him overnight. Man, I tell you, the longer we live, the more we see all of this madness going on. That's, that's all we see. We see a lot of this ridiculous stuff and it doesn't make any sense, okay? I don't blame them. When he walked out of that store, I would have locked that door too. This man is crazy. You don't know what he had in that vehicle at this point. And a lot of times when they are acting bold like this, there's a weapon somewhere. They don't act bold unless there's some kind of firearm or knife or something around something that they can use as a weapon. But ladies and gentlemen, y'all tell me what you think. I think this is crazy. I really do for somebody to be out like this, but this is America, y'all. And this is what many of these American citizens act like. This ain't no few people. This ain't no isolated incident. This is a common occurrence in America. It's an everyday occurrence. You see people like this all over the place. You know, they never had to be accountable for anything. And that's why they behave like this. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.